So could anything like that happen here in Kansas City? And are safety precautions in place to protect the communities? Well, those are the questions we sent Garrett Hake out to answer. Lindsay, a lot of the coverage on this case, and while investigators still aren't sure what caused the explosion, they're focusing on a chemical called anhydrous ammonia. It's a common farm chemical. This is what about 60,000 pounds of it looks like when stored in a farm co-op lot. That's more than the 54,000 pounds that were reportedly stored at a Texas facility. Now, the chemical isn't flammable, but the experts who handle it every day say it can be dangerous. We can pull this cable and that shuts off all the flow immediately. Calvin Pearson has been working with giant fertilizer tanks like these for more than 30 years. In all that time, he's never heard of one exploding, at least not without extraordinary circumstances. It is dangerous. Uh, a person has to be cautious you know, about using it, but we look at it from the standpoint of, uh, of an inhalation problem more than uh, a fire hazard. That's because what's in the tank, anhydrous ammonia, widely reported to have also been present in large quantities at the Texas plant, isn't flammable. The chemical, which farmers use as fertilizer for corn, wheat, and other crops, acts more like dry ice. Cold to the touch, it doesn't burn. But kept at a high pressure, it could explode in a fire, and it's certainly not safe to breathe in. It would take a tremendous amount of heat uh, very next to it to cause this to be in a state where the tank would explode. That's why state regulators in Kansas and Missouri inspect large tanks like this one once a year. This one was inspected just a few weeks ago. And federal agencies like the EPA and OSHA can also do inspections, although officials from those agencies couldn't tell us how often. Pearson says that's good enough for him, for a chemical farmers have been using for decades. As far as immediate danger to anybody, I, I see none whatsoever. And in large tanks like this is largely how you will find these chemicals in our area. They're not produced here. Much of the chemicals actually come from across the border in Oklahoma. Now, the key thing to remember, a cigarette ash, a small flame, won't set off a tank like this. This is largely safe. It would take the kind of massive fire that was already raging in that Texas plant to cause an explosion of a tank like this. Now, there are 700 similarly sized tanks like this in the state of Kansas, 299 in Missouri. All of those are inspected every year. Kansas, the inspections are still ongoing. In Missouri, all 299 of the large tanks have already been inspected for 2013. Reporting live in Ottawa, Garrett Hake, 41 Action News.